the holder of foolishness. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution you can get yourself to. Go to the front desk and ask the receptionist to visit someone by the name, the holder of foolishness. If she says, We do not have a patient by that name here. Good day. Run. Run as far as your legs can carry you. Then, father, you will never be safe from her anger. But if the receptionist says, Follow me. She is in room 506. Follow her closely, and do not stray to read any signs, for they are in unknown languages and illegible chicken scratch. When you walk down the seemingly endless corridor, you will hear what sounds like someone arguing with themselves on random subjects. Should, at any time, this babbling stop, Freeze where you stand and wait ten seconds. If the sound does not return, say in a commanding voice, I am not fooled by you. Should the babbling still not return, it is too late, for she is behind you, waiting for you to turn and face your death. If the sound returns, then proceed. The receptionist will be far ahead of you. But don't speed up or they will hear you. When she reaches room 506, she will turn and look almost sad. She will wait for you to arrive, then say, Do not be fooled by her trickery. By now, the babbling is loud and clearly audible, but do not listen, for if you hear her clearly, you will be driven to the brink of insanity and claw at your skull. This is only the beginning of a horrible eternity. Should you succeed and enter, stay ten feet away. You can try to distract her all you wish, but she will only stop and listen to you if you say, What is the only way to fool the others? She will slowly turn to reveal a face, half skull, half mutilated with scratches and cuts. She will then describe a deception so foolish, but at the same time ingenious. When she finishes, she will walk to you. Do not flinch when she reaches a hand out to you. She has a small crystal tear in her hand. Do not let her drop it on the ground, or you will take her place in eternal insanity. Catch the tear when she drops it. When you have safely grasped the teardrop in your hand, the woman will slowly turn and disappear into dust. You will then wake up on your lawn. Your neighbors will say when they saw you that you were babbling on about insanity all night. The crystal tear is object 539. They must never come together or the world around you will fall to the brink of madness, babbling on about insanity, just like the woman had in her cell.